I've ridden a lot of things in my lifetime, but today I'm not counting horsepower, I'm counting teeth. I'm Darren Kinder. Jill and I are wrangling gators today at a farm that teaches you how to handle these big bad boys with the confidence of a seasoned professional. At least that's their theory. Then Steve Human takes us east to Ohio and finds one OHV area that is open and ready to ride, but it might not be for much longer. Finally, Reese Stein paddles his way to our trailhead adventure. At Your Leisure is starting now. At your leisure, I'm Jill Kinder. And I'm Darren Kinder, and we're here in Mosca, Colorado. And uh, if you don't know where that is, well, I don't blame you. <laughs> we're, we're just a little bit north of Alamosa, Colorado, and we're here at the Colorado Gator Farm. The nice thing about this place and why the gators like it is there's a geothermal well that brings up hot water, and so they love they can, it. They can keep it night, even though Alamosa is one of the coldest places in the continental United States. In the winter. In the winter, <laughs> but in the but they have that hot water, so it keeps those gators nice and warm and comfortable, and they really enjoy it here. So yeah. uh, let's go take a look and see how many things we can come up with, and hopefully we'll leave with all of our fingers and toes. Welcome to Colorado Gators. Today we are in the lovely San Luis Valley in southern Colorado. We have many alligators that we have rescued from people who had them as pets and decided for one reason or another that they don't make good pets, which is probably because they don't make good pets. The original goal here at Colorado Gators was to raise fish for human consumption. So we had heads, tails, guts, things like that left over and they decided that the most natural way to dispose of the fish waste was to get alligators here. If you're a family and you would just like to have the normal everyday kind of thing, you can come in and you get to go through the reptile building seeing numerous snakes and lizards. We want to cultivate a love of reptiles, but we want to do it responsibly. We want people to love and respect the animals, but we want them to do it responsibly. And so a big goal of ours around here is to teach proper reptiles and, and also how to deal and handle them. Well, you've got so many things to do here. We've just looked at the reptiles and we're looking at the alligators. Oh my gosh, there's there's stuff everywhere. <laughs> Even some plants to look at. And of course the gators, you see them and they look so docile and, you know, sleepy. Yeah, they do look sleepy. They're yawning and, but watch when you feed them some food. Let's see what they do. Let's see if they jump up. Here, that's just bouncing off of his head. Oh, he's too sleepy. I'll tell you. <laughs> he's looking at it, but he's like, I don't care. <laughs> there you go. While we continue on our adventure, we'll let you look at the travel adventure. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. We are at the Colorado Gator and Reptile Park, and Darren is about to take a class to wrestle gators. From the world renowned Noah Gator Wrestler. <laughs> and Chos, make Noah. sure, let's make sure you're a good instructor. Well, this is the point in time where we. Double check to make sure we've got all 10 fingers. <laughs> Every, at the end of the class, them. we'll also do another check to make sure we still have all 10 fingers. So, so if your instructor is like this, that's not really a good thing. That's probably not a good thing. <laughs> all right, well, let's go get started then. Most important rule is do not hesitate. Okay. When you decide that you are going to do something, do it. Don't think about okay. it. Just. Do it. I know where I want to be on this alligator, so I'm there. You can hold him up and say, look, come on, no brains. Now it's your turn to catch an alligator. Are you ready? Just grab, grab. There you go. Now get that thick part of your tail with the other. No, no, oh, yeah. Yep, pull him straight. Now, the technique for 
catching these alligators is going to be a little different than the technique that you used to catch the alligator before. This time, you want both hands on that back, right there in over those shoulder blades and pinning that chest into the ground. A big tug, and you're gonna go forward with your body at the same time, and you're gonna put your hands right there in the target zone. Big tug, jump, yep, get him, yeah! Get him. yeah. So, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go out there and we're gonna catch us an alligator. <laughs> and you're gonna stick kind of right behind me. <laughs> yeah, okay. you're right about that. <laughs> it was awesome. It was, getting in the water was definitely you know, one of the not what I expected it would be, man. That was pretty scary, but it was cool. Pull it out, pull it out, way out. <laughs> okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put our hands in the alligator's mouth. We're going to do what? <laughs> put our hands in the alligator's mouth. Okay. Now, pull back, pull back and up. No, nope. scoop back with your butt, scoop back with your butt, scoop back with your butt, scoop back with your butt. He's really strong, you know what? oh my gosh. Move forward just a touch, <laughs> there you go. Now. Hold back and up. No. Look. It's all right. Pull up. Lean back. Now. There you go. Now. Look at her. Look at him. baby. Take a look at our trail and adventure. <laughs> oh, we had a great time at the, well, I had a great time at the gator park. She was watching me almost get eaten by a gator. <laughs> That was the exhilarating part, right? <laughs> yeah, for you. <laughs> it was fun. Well, right now we're in Alamosa. It's about 10, 15 minutes away from the gator farm. Yep, and they've got all kinds of food and lodging here. Yep. Um, it's just a short while distance away. And plus you have the great sand dunes that aren't far from here either. So there's a lot of recreational opportunity in this area to come and play and, ha and have a good weekend. You bet. So between now and the next time we get together. Get out with your family and friends. In the great outdoors. At, at your leisure. leisure. So until we meet again, whoops. <laughs> that is open to everyone. And I, when I say open, I uh, screw up right at the end. It's the gloves, I'm trying to do two things at once. Hey guys, if you like that video, you're gonna wanna watch all of our other AYL videos. You're gonna wanna like it, you're gonna wanna share it, and you're gonna wanna subscribe, right? See all the buttons right here? <laughs> this is what you're gonna wanna do, click, right? Click, click, click. Click on them, because we have some really cool videos, all kinds of behind the scenes stuff, bloopers of Alicia crashing and stuff. Why are you gonna sell me out like that, Steven? <laughs> so you wanna click all of these things and subscribe to our channel, because At Your Leisure is awesome, and uh, we'll see you here for more videos.